Once again I welcome you to Chelsea Sports Channel, where I bring you all the breaking news from Stamford Bridge and Chelsea FC. Today I have more news coming up. Before we start the video, please subscribe, like, share and feel free to comment. What Thomas did at halftime of Chelsea's FA Cup win gives huge hope for future the German manager didn't wait around to make changes when he could see things weren't going to plan against Barnsley. A good trait for a manager or head coach to have is the ability to think on your feet in the dugout and recognize that when something might not be going right that you need to find a solution to it. A criticism often thrown at Frank Lampard during his time as a manager in West London was that he took too long to adapt with his in-game management, be it substitutions or with a tactical tweak to get his team back on the front foot. Thomas Tuchel has played a five-man defense for the first five games of his tenure at Chelsea but after 45 minutes of the fifth game, realized that he needed to switch things up. That was helped by Andreas Christensen being taken off, rightly, after complaining of a headache at the break having been hit by a stray boot of a Barnsley attacker in the first half. That saw Antonio Rudiger replace him in a like-for-like -like change but Tuchel also introduced Rhys James for Marcos Alonso and reverting to a flat back four, with more protection in midfield that allowed N'Golo Conte to do what N'Golo Conte does. Emerson Palmieri went to left back, Kurt Zoma partnered Rudiger in the middle and James went to right back. Callum Hudson-Odoi, one of Chelsea's most threatening players, was pushed further forward and Billy Gilmore sat in front of Conte to quarterback proceedings. That shape, for that group of players, seemed to be a much better fit as the Blues gradually improved. Tammy Abraham's goal came from Gilmore releasing James down the right and his center was tapped home by Abraham. Tuchel was very animated on the touchline throughout the first half as his players struggled to break through the first Barnsley line of defense and the home side hunted in packs when they didn't have the ball. It had the hallmarks of what we have come to expect from a Tuchel side so far, dominating the game and possession but lacking any cutting edge. That was especially true without Mason Mount on the pitch, who was given the night off by the head coach. We changed to a back four and took Marcos Alonso out for this tactical change. Andreas Christensen had to go out because he had a headache. The changes made it a little easier to get into the opponent's half and overcome the first press. We did some changes at halftime and we played better in a different structure to help the team. We struggled to cope with the first challenges and second balls. So, in the end, we were way too deep for too long. We were lucky in the first half to have Kepa save us and we were lucky when Tammy saved us with the header on the line. We have to admit that we struggled today but in the cup, it is sometimes like this. I don't want to be too harsh on the guys in the circumstances. It wasn't too easy but we went through and that's the most important thing. Chelsea did just about manage to get through on Thursday evening and it continued Tuchel's unbeaten start to his tenure heading into Monday's matchup with Newcastle in the Premier League at Stamford Bridge. While the performance might not have been the most pleasing for supporters to watch, they will have been happy with how the head coach adjusted his tactics and players at the right time in order to get a result in a game which, in truth, they were being outplayed in. Ten changes to a side will do that and some players are desperately struggling for form because the head coach changed things around to get the result and that will breathe huge confidence through the Blues camp as they embark on a top four finish this season. Please subscribe, like, share and feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.